oldest creative visions. Yeah, that's what you have now. You also have the strongest console now. If you have no games to play on it though, it's just a fucking machine collecting dust, dude. It's a waste of fucking money is what it is. That's exactly what you have now. So show some games. Show something that comes out on that fucking machine, dude. Get people excited for new fucking games so they want to invest their hard-earned money in your shit system. But no, let's not do that. Let's not fucking do that. Let's just talk about how powerful a fucking shit machine is and that you can watch Netflix in 8 fucking K this time. Nobody cares, guy. Can you actually learn your fucking lesson, dude? It's unbelievable. It really is ridiculous, this shit, dude. performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason why you would want to buy a fucking console. If they have games on it, dude. But they're bringing all their fucking games to PC, so if that's the case with the new machine, which I'm assuming, nobody's gonna buy a new fucking Xbox, dude. And all of its performance... New consoles are these groundbreaking powerful machines, the amount of times they lie to our faces, yeah, I believe that it's, it's a leap, it's a leap from now, you know, not per se graphically or anything, but the SSD alone is gonna be definitely something, you know, it's gonna do something, but I don't know, dude, if, unless there's good games, there's no reason to buy a fucking console, that's the reason why you buy a fucking console in my, in my eyes. Because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Yay, with Halo. See, there you go. We're gonna release the new console with shitty Halo. Oh, Halo Infinite. Is that the new one? Is that what they're showing right now here, probably? More CGI. It still looks like my ass, dude. If this is what the new technology brings us. It's shit looking. Protocol accepted. Because once again, when you go with realism, you got no style to go with. Realism is one style. It's called realism. It's called real world. So the people have to look real. That's not a style. That's a realism thing, you know? You're stuck if you do that. You can't make interesting looking fucking characters like that. Because they have to look like real fucking humans. It's shit. It's not interesting to me. Great way to use, utilize time for your fucking E3 event, dude. A guy yes. falling over. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm big. Can you tell daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, daddy. I love you, daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Uh, uh, emotional shit, bro. Uh, oh man, I need a fucking other crack cigarette, dude. Guy from Red Bank, what's up, dude? Yeah, guy falling over. Totally haven't been done before, exactly. Dude. A crying man, dude. This is exactly what I'm looking for in my game. My main character crying. That's what I like. I like a emotionally weak character, dude. I love that. I love that. This, this event has got awful. It's right, dude. What the fuck? How long is it going to take for Bethesda, though? Is this going to just keep running until the Bethesda event? Otherwise, we're just going to play some games in between. This is just CGI, bro. They haven't showed any gameplay for fucking anything, dude. Only for old shit games and for Battletoads. Like I said, one second clips. Shitty fucking art style. At least it's hand-drawn. I can give them that. The levels look cool. The toads themselves look fucking ridiculous. The fighting might be good though. That's the most important thing, obviously. And also, Streets of Rage fucking 4, dude. I've seen the footage for it. Streets of Rage 4 is even shit, dude. In my opinion, it's fucking boring, dude. There's no beautiful fucking combos, no cool new mechanics. It's just walking down the street, punch, punch, punch. And you have a special move. Bro, it's, it's embarrassing, bro. It looks great, but innovate, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, dude. Let me grab an enemy, jump up in the fucking screen, and pile drive his ass into the fucking pavement, dude. Let me do something. Add blood to it. Let me rip some fucking heads off. Anything, dude. No, it's just some generic fucking shit. You can hear me in there. I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Don't. Just do it! Oh, man.
Yes. Master yes. Chief. Yes. We're going home. <laughs> okay, that's not the main character. I'm glad at least. Well, so he woke Master Chief. Master Chief. Master Chief. Up. I rerouted what needle power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. So Master Chief is a fucking robot? I know I saw some Should I have known that? Check your armor's diagnostics. I thought there was a guy in that shit, dude. You're not status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Halo 4, 4,435,000. Yeah, fuck this game, dude. Chief is human, right? He's a fucking robot now. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think we're here, Ace. No, no, no. Not then. Not again. We need to run! No, we need to fight. Okay, at least bring back the old school badass music. Da da Because there's one thing you can say, that music is fucking phenomenal. There we go. They, they even use the old music, because they got nothing, dude. They got fucking nothing, dude. They're rehashing old shit, because they got nothing. They never outdid the first music. Gameplay, please show me some motherfucking gameplay, dude. Please, for the love of God, show me some fucking gameplay. E3 every fucking year is the same, dude. Every fucking year it's a CGI fuckfest, dude. Who cares, dude? Who fucking... This is supposed to get me excited for these fucking games, dude? I know nothing about the game now. It doesn't matter if you show me a two fucking hour CGI goddamn clip. I still know nothing, dude. Here we go with the Terminator shit again. That was it already. I guess that was it already. Because this is all the shit they've shown already. They've shown this already. Oh, there's more Sea of Thieves shit. Yippee. Oh, Ori and the Blind Forest, the second one. Ori and the something else. Whatever the fuck it's called. That shit is coming out. That That is going to be an exciting fucking game. It's also coming to PC, like it did last time. I'm sure of it, but... That's a good fucking game. That, that was a good game. That was the battle toast right there in between. It's done already, I guess, because they're re-showing the old fucking shit they showed already. Wait, was that a little part of Ori? Don't tell me they made it 3D, dude. I don't think they did. That would be fucking horseshit. Bungie used to make good games even before Halo. Marathon and Myth, bro, what's the other one? Oni? Oni for PC? Come on, dude. I think that was even on PlayStation 2. That's a good fucking game. That's Bungie too. Well, you can get it on PC. Yeah, and that's an announcement they made. They're releasing everything on fucking PC. The Game Pass thing is on PC now, you know? Might be worth looking into for a fucking month so I can play those shit games. And then never play it again. Just for one month, $10, I can play all the shitty games or all the shitty games. The three shit games they have. Gears of War, fucking something else. And, you know, who gives a shit? <laughs> Those three games. I don't even want to. I don't even fucking want to. $10 is too much to play no games, dude. Fuck that. I can, I can stick $10 in my fucking ass and play no games right now, dude. So, fuck that. Thank you for watching the Xbox E3 briefing. This was it. This was embarrassingly bad. This was sad, is what this was, dude. There's no redeeming Xbox, dude. It doesn't matter what kind of fucking machine you come up with, dude. Even if the machine sucks my dick and keeps my goddamn beers cold, dude. I don't ever want to buy this fucking shit. It has no games, dude. 